A medical device life cycle typically starts with an idea. The idea may be for a new means of patient treatment or a new diagnostic or monitoring method. It may be a technical idea or even an existing device that could be used for different purposes. Whatever the original starting point, the device life cycle and the steps needed to get to market remain unchanged. There are many possible device ideas in this world. However, even if the idea is coming from a brilliant engineer or physician or any other bright inventor, it is always wise to start with a reality check. Begin with due diligence that answers the question, Is there a market for my device idea? Omitting this due diligence early on, puts the inventor at great risk of spending unnecessary funding and energy for a device that may not be wanted by the market. It is very important that during this process, the inventor or person conducting the due diligence has the necessary openness and self-critique. Many times inventors or managers seek advice but do not follow the advice. They may be right about their device idea, but very often, if the device is not what the clinicians need or want, it is very risky to continue the project. Now let us focus on the financial and related market aspects. It goes without saying that developing a medical device needs the necessary investment to do it right. We very often hear that clinical investigations are expensive and should be avoided at all times. Well, guess what? Market reality is that there is less and less chance you will get your device on the market without conducting a proper clinical investigation. Even in Europe, where we are looking at proving performance versus effectiveness, which may need less extensive clinical data, we are moving towards the requirements where clinical benefit to the patient will need to be proven, which means we come very close to proving effectiveness.